Hello. Welcome back. So this is not a tournament game, so uh, nothing quite that exciting. But this is an end game that I found an interesting one here anyway. So we are starting on turn seven. Fellowship is just starting in Mordor. I have, uh, like all the usual people are in play, Gandalf's up here because he played Book of Mazar Bull. Um, Saruman and the Witch King are about. Uh, military is okay. Not, like, not a great spot, but an okay spot. Um, like if the cards and dice go well, this is a very good military. If the cards and dice go poorly, this is in a very bad spot militarily, you know, like the armies are close to winning, but the strongholds are all still pretty strong. Like Helm's Deep is 4-1-2 with Legolas in there. Dol Amroth is a 3-2-1 and Minas Tirith is a 3-1-2 with Boromir in there. So, uh, but the armies are all close. So, uh, yeah, here we are anyway. Okay, so he moves right away, which is a good choice because I did even have Day Without Dawn in hand. Uh, right, I'm the Shadow Player. Um, this is GJB I'm playing against. Fun guy. Always enjoy a game with him. Um, yeah, so he's Free Peoples. He had one token to start with this game. He used it a little while ago anyway. Uh, so it's a one reveal, so that's, you know, an eye would have been nice since I rolled three eyes anyway, but oh well, that, that is what it is. Um, so I bring in the mouth. He hides. I move leadership around. Um, so I'm thinking, you know, there's a chance if he has, like, House of the Stewards. I didn't get his password, so I don't know what cards he has. Um, like, and Guards of the Citadel that he might want to stand and fight me. So that's why I bring a little extra leadership for North Athelion. So um, my hope for this turn anyway is to besiege Minas Tirith with two attacks. And then with Grand and a nice deadly strife, hopefully blow up Dol Amroth in one shot. So as to avoid any nasty Cure ships. Um, so he passes. I attack Osgiliath. I get one hit. He gets none. He musters in Minas Tirith. That makes sense. I besiege Minas Tirith. Um, I am somewhat relieved to see that he does not fight me. So I leave a regular in Osgiliath because, you know, Rohan is at war and there's a decent-sized army in Helm's Deep, so I just want to avoid or start working towards avoiding Paths of the Woeses anyway. He puts Elven Rope in. I, yeah, here comes Grand. And opening with Deadly Strife. So I really like opening with Deadly Strife here because they can't play anything to counter it because it's the first round of Grand, you know, they're not allowed to play a card. So like there's no daylight or advantageous position to get in the way. But I only get three hits, which is a little below average. That's a little disappointing. And he gets five back. So that's a bit of an ominous start. Um, maybe I should have played Olog High first. I was kind of hoping that I wouldn't need it here and that I could then bring that elite into Minas Tirith where I'm going to, where I'm desperately in need of elites to make that siege go faster. So, um, I draw into Mumakil, which is a perfect card for that. Um, so we go round two. He plays Shield Wall, but I cleverly dodge his Shield Wall by only rolling one hit, and he rolls three hits back. So uh, <laughs> life is officially scary now. Uh, we're on to round three. You know, if he has a good card and, or even just rolls three hits, then the Witch King's dead, so that's a bummer. Um, so I smack down Black Breath because uh, none of these other cards are useful at all. Um, so his sudden strike misses, which is a relief, and I get two hits plus a leader. So that's uh, some luck for me. Oh, man, he paused with the, the leader reroll there, and I was let, <laughs> just doing a little hyperventilate there. Like, <laughs> you know, so anyway, uh, so when all the dust settles, it's one southern regular and a whole pile of Nazgul staring down one regular without leadership anymore. So, oh, man, and then he put this planter down, and I was so sure it was going to be cured in ships, and then I was going to cry about it. But he used a ring to move again, which is also a reasonable choice. And then he pulls the blue tile. So, yeah, very sad about the lack of eyes. I think actually one reveal and then zero might actually have been the best, just because he had Strider and he had those useless dice, so he could pretty much hide for free anyway. So, anyway. Um, so now I play Olog High to reinforce Dole Amroth, especially with great host in hand. As long as he doesn't play cured ends next turn, I uh, should be good. Okay, so I draw Sealder's Bane and Musterings. I um, still don't know what he's drawing. So I put one eye in. Maybe I should have tried to put more eyes in here. Um, but after his fortunate start to the hunt, I'm not super excited about Corruption. So I roll one more, and no other character dice are pulled out here. So I'm certainly not going to be dumping a bunch of cards on him. And he gets three movement, which is pretty good. So he, again, moves right away with the Will of the West, which is a good choice. So it's a three. Um... And I'm back again. Uh, so you may have noticed I'm not taking the time to examine every nuance to the situation. This is kind of, uh, I found it to be an interesting story throughout the monitor track here. 
But anyway, uh, he says random. I draw it's Mary, which is arguably the worst result. Like maybe Strider was the worst result. Gimli was definitely the best result if you're taking a random. Um, if he if he wanted to take it efficiently, he could have just chosen to eat Strider. Um, but he would still like to be able to hide. But now that corruption is higher, uh, now I have uh, some hopes with the Sealders. He still has five corruption to go, though. So anyway, um, I attacked Ol' Amroth, and I'm very happy to be able to play Great Host here. I'm still not exactly there anyway. So I have a couple options here. I can either, and yet that it doesn't really work. So, so he has two movement, three with a ring. So even if he hits an eye, um, he could still hide, move, hit Sheila, move again. So he has enough movement. There's no universe where he doesn't have enough movement. Maybe if he loses Strider first. No, but even then, hide, move. Okay, yeah, no, if he hit an eye and lost Strider and then hit Shelob, then he wouldn't have enough movement. Um, but that's a pretty unlikely situation. So at this point, I'm kind of, I'm planning on using my ring to play a Sealder's Bane, just in the vague hope that I get Shelob. Or maybe if he, you know, hits an eye and eats three corruption, uh, then these twos will be lethal as well. So that's why I'm waiting until after he's moved another step. So in the meantime, um, I'm getting my troops into position here. Uh, so I know that I have one muster that I can't use for anything else. So I muster up an Orthanc first here. Uh, one I'm going to use as an attack with the mouth and the other I'm going to use the ring on, but I had a third muster, nothing else to do with it. So he passes again. So I finish covering Lasarnik just so he can't muster in there and be a pain and move troops into Helm's Deep. So I could use a ring and, you know, hope for that eye in the Shelob uh, and move leadership and hope to crack both these strongholds. But... I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't really feel like eight regulars is going to be able to beat, um, you know, a full stronghold in Boromir on like even say I used a ring to move one attack. Yeah, I only have two attacks to pull it off. It seems very unlike. Oh no, three. I guess there's this army deck here. Still doesn't feel like it would work anyway. So okay, so we attack Helm's Deep. Um, I use Relentless Assault against Tor and Dark, so I take no hits because that's unlikely to be useful. I get one hit anyway. He gets three hits back. Um, I don't press because, I don't know, maybe I should have pressed there, actually. If I'm going to even try to win, maybe I should have pressed. Anyway, attack Hell's Deep again. Um, Relentless Assault against Daylight this time. So I again go with no hits. Um, zero hits to his two. So it is not looking great thus far. So he moves, and it's an eye. And he does take Strider. So... Right, so now it's if he hits Shelob, then I couldn't... So if, if I got to 10 points this turn and he hits Shelob on the next movement, then he can win. Um, so I, I I don't know. It doesn't feel like I'm going to conquer both these strongholds, though. So I just move my armies closer in the insane chance that somehow I have an opportunity next turn. So he hides the Fellowship, and I go ahead and play a Sealder's Bane here, because what else am I going to do? And I get Shelob. So you need a 5 or a 6 to just kill him and win, and it's a 5. So just what the actual man like that's such an absurd win like <laughs> yeah it's just that's that's game over he wins as uh, so you might remember i lost in a similar way to this in the tournament last year i had the fellowship on step four and at six corruption with a hobbit as guide and they played a sealer's bane and drew shelob and rolled a six so it's uh it's it's just funny seeing this insane win come back um, I did the math. It was 3.7% uh, odds of killing him with that because out of the hunt pool, there's Shelob and eight other tiles. So one out of nine to draw it and then one out of three to roll high enough to kill him. Uh, I suppose a four would have still been good because then if he moved and I would kill him, but he could just wait till next turn and it, I would probably be fine then. But, well, I guess if I rolled two eyes, it'd still be a chance he'd die. So, so anyway, I just found that ending absolutely absurd and thought that was worth a short video just to... Uh, sharing the insanity. So anyway, I hope you liked it. See you next time. Actually, no, let's look at statistics. That's always fun. Um, okay, so minus three on attacks for me overall, a little bit negative on sixes, plus one on hits for him, plus one on movement for him. Yeah, so like before that Shelob happened, we both agreed how like luck was favoring him more this game. There's multiple times, like he moved once against seven dice and got missed, um, moved against five dice at hitting at five and up. And missed so the uh my, my luck really built itself up for uh one angry spider hurtling to the top of mount doom to just murder frodo uh anyway thanks for watching see you next time